Graham, the 74-year-old victim lives in this home right behind me. There's typically a fancy car parked in the driveway, and the man tells me he's outside a lot doing yard work. He feels that the suspect has likely been trolling the neighborhood, knew he was elderly, and knew when he would be here by himself. Several county sheriff's deputies say a man who looks like this rang 74-year-old Glenn Jeffcoat's doorbell, lured him out of his house no. to steal from him. I'm not a gullible person. Yes, they got me on an off day. Jeffcoat says he never opens the door to strangers, but this guy was different. It's a very clean cut, personable, professional looking, and acting. selling anything, just letting him know he was repairing the neighbor's fence on the other side of his backyard, and it might affect him. And in the process, uh, they will be trimming some tree limbs, and if any happened to fall in my yard, uh, they'd be sure to pick them up and take them away. Jeff Coates says the man asked him to step out back to show him. This should have been a flag, but it wasn't. He said to me, is anyone else at home? He said he was home alone as he followed the man out back. As they were talking, Jeff Coates says the man got a phone call, and they started walking back up front. I heard someone yell for him, and he said, oh, I've got to go. That's my boss. If I don't get going, I'm going to get fired. Jeff Coates says it wasn't until a short time later when he went to grab his wallet off of his dresser that he realized he'd been swindled. And I noticed that my ATM card was laying out on my wallet beside it. His cash, gone. His jewelry cases, empty. There and gone in less than 10 minutes. And it tossed down on the floor. They had taken every piece of the old jewelry to include my tie tacks and my cufflinks. Very slick, very quick. Jeffco tells me that he never saw the second suspect, but he believes that he left out his back door. He says he knows that it had been locked shut, and after he realized he'd been swindled, he realized that his back door had been opened and left open. Seminole County Sheriff's deputies say if you recognize the guy in that composite sketch, they'd really like to hear from you. For now, reporting live in Longwood, Holly Bristow, Fox 35 News. Holly thanks an eight-year-old on a bike jumps